dear traders, welcome to Insta TV. You're watching Daily Financial News with me, Anna Kasatkina. The US dollar and crude oil opened a new trading week struggling for further gains. Having touched an intraday low of 55 US dollars, Brent crude rebounded afterwards. Oil prices were propped up on Monday by statements from OPEC Secretary General Mohamed Barkindo. Yesterday, Mohamed Barkindo said that consultations were underway for an extension of the production cut agreement beyond March 2018 and that more oil producing nations may joined the supply pact. His remarks signaled the cartel's readiness to restore the oil market balance in the long term. Nevertheless, bulls were not inspired by a weekly update from Baker Hughes. The report showed that the number of U.S. oil rigs contracted to 748 last week. Meanwhile, Hurricane Nate is a culprit which caps further gains of oil prices. Last Friday, the disaster disrupted operations on oil rigs in the Mexican Gulf. West Texas Intermediate is trading today at $49.38 a barrel. This week, a highly anticipated report from the U.S. Energy Information Administration will enable traders to assess the aftermath of the hurricane. Whether crude oil will resume its rally remains an open question. In case oil bulls enter the market, this could provide commodity currencies with support. Today, the Russian ruble is losing ground against the US dollar. The dollar-ruble pair is trading next to 58.40. Though the US dollar is weighed down by the geopolitical tensions, investors are in a wait-and-see mode ahead of OPEC data and the US government data as well. The Russian ruble is likely to remain under pressure from the US dollar, as oil prices will hardly give the Russian currency enough support. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you back tomorrow. Bye.